What's up everyone? Welcome to Young Studio and in this video I'm going to share with you Wushu basic movement Ma Pu Kung Pu Chung Chun. Now this basic movement is very important for me especially for you guys beginners out there it's going to give you the foundation of pushing okay punching pushing and also holding and for you guys beginners out there it is important for you guys to drill to drill this mapo kumpu chung chun a lot because you're going to use this mapo kumpu chung chun in many movement for example okay when you want to when you want to grab okay uh, when you want to do some grabbing move okay you're going to go from horse stand okay horse stand and then you're going to grab both stands okay now i will show you uh, real quick okay what mapu kung pu chung chun looks like all right so that's basically mapu kung pu Mapu Kung Pu Chung Chun, okay? So, Mapu Kung Pu Chung Chun is the combination of horse stance and then you go into both stance and then do a punch. Now, when you see me doing that move, okay? Uh, you probably notice that I'm, I don't do my stance lower, okay? Because I want to tell you guys something, okay? This is just a little knowledge that I gained, okay? For many years of practice. Now, Kung Fu, uh, basically martial art okay Ma martial okay it's for self defense okay but in modern wushu you have to make it looks nice okay you have to make it looks beautiful something like that so uh it's not wrong to do it with high stance okay uh which anybody can do okay but if you really want to get a nice look nice looking performance in wushu movement you have to do it low okay so this is the traditional one okay and in wushu you're doing it like this okay so the stance is very low okay so that's going to like increase the the nice looking okay the better performance something like that okay so i hope you guys understand the difference between a traditional what they call traditional wushu or kung fu and then modern wushu now another example of uh, mapo kung fu chung chen like like this okay this right <laughs> i hope you guys can see that okay so basically, uh, mapu kung pu chun is very important because you're going to use that in many, many ways of your movement. Um, like pushing, okay? You're going to you're going to move into mapu kung pu, mapu kung pu. So I hope you guys understand that. And now let's talk about the stances. Now for your first stance, okay? You have to do it something like this. Open one, two, three, four. Now, this is a standard, okay? Standard for you guys, and that just drop into first stand. Yeah. All right? So, that's first stand. And remember to push your hip forward, okay? Not doing something like this, okay? This is not good. Push forward, okay? Feel your chest is tight. Feel your your leg is tight. And the main focus in doing horse stance is that you feel your quads, okay? Your quads. Your quads, it's tight, okay? That's the main point. And make sure uh, stand still. Strike, and then don't forget to breathing because if you if you're not breathing properly okay if you okay that's that's gonna ruin your training okay because if you're not breathing properly okay your muscle is uh, not comfortable okay 
So you have to make sure that you're breathing properly. Like inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Okay? That that's how you that's how you breathe in doing first sense, okay? So how you guys understand that a little bit because uh, breathing is important in doing movement, okay? Any kind of movement. Alright? So and now let's talk about both sense, okay? Both sense. Both sense. Alright. So you're going to put your uh, this is basically uh, if you do something like this, okay, this is pan uh, mapu. But we're going to change it into constant. So what's what's that for? It's like it's like straight. And then your body is facing forward. Like this, okay? Okay. This is both sense, okay? And remember, this is 90 degree, not uh, 90 degree, okay? 90 degree. Facing forward. So that is kung fu, okay? Uh, or both stance. And now I will give you guys some basic training in order to in order to uh, achieve a strong mapo kung fu chunkin. So this is for you guys out there beginners and also for anyone. I hope you guys enjoy it and without further ado, let's get started. So I hope you guys enjoy today's video. Hope you guys learn something from this video. Hope you guys entertain as well. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.